Ooh. all the things going on with Python and hardware. There is a ton. First up, okay. DigiKey and Adafruit are bringing thousands, thousands, of Circuit Playground Express devices, special edition, PyCon edition. Um, this is PyCon. It's the biggest Python ga gathering. Um, Cleveland, Ohio, May first to 9th. Every attendee will be getting one of these. Ooh. Say red. Red Circuit Playground Express. Playground Express. Special edition for yep. PyCon. Loaded up, all sorts of neat stuff. Comes with Circuit Python. Digi and Adafruit are the official swag bag sponsorship this year. Thank you, PyCon, today for tweeting about it too. Yay! So we recommend if you're going to PyCon, and you should, um, bring a micro USB cable um, for your computer, whether you need USB C. We'll have a couple there, but it's always good to have your own so you can right. get started immediately. So that's our best recommendation. But we'll also be having sprints and we'll have a gathering area where people can hack on hardware so that's very exciting i'll be publishing my pi portal app this is it's less than 49 days this is a good reminder for me to make sure all these devices get there um when my little pi portal app gets to the day it has dan katney and scott because they'll be doing workshops and more um and speaking of workshops pi cascades just happened scott was there and he had uh like a hardware meetup showed all the cool things going keyboard. on with um game boy and circuit <laughs> python um, brought all the hardware to show people, and this was just one of a, a few examples of Python on hardware at a Python conference. Uh, Nina, who's at Microsoft, she's a developer, she did this amazing talk, and uh, y you have to watch it. We put it as a post. Um, here it is in 18 seconds. <laughs> uh, but it, you know, it's really nice when you work on something a lot, like Circuit Python, and you have people around the world coming together, and then someone, we didn't even know this was really going to happen, who captures the idea and the intent so well. So thank you so much, Nina. Um, there's other information. You can download the slides. You can look at the video. Um, we put all of this in our newsletter and more, and you can just see some of the things that was there. And, of course, Scott was there as well. Um, Adafruit I.O. news with Circuit Python this week. Um, the A.O. wrapper uh, yes. is launched. Yep, so if you, uh, get, well, right now the only hardware that we have that you could use it is the um, Pi Portal, yeah. but if you're feeling uh, 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 smart and clever and you want to wire up an ESP32 to your favorite M4 microcontroller, you can check out um, our CircuitPython wrapper library that uses yeah. requests on CircuitPython, so you can now start making small devices that connect to an interface with Adafruit I.O. Thanks, Brent. You worked on that a lot. Um, here's some examples of some of the things that we've been working on with PyPortal. So this was a neat clock. It goes out and gets the time. And then it says, how many years since we've landed on the moon? All over 46 years. Weather, I'll show some demos of that later. This is all real and it's on a PyPortal. You can make this yourself. If you want, you can, look, you can look at the overhead right now. If you oh, you want to see what the weather is right now? Yeah, it's cold. Oh man, I just hit reset. Ah, uh, you rebooted it. <laughs> okay. You know what? We should probably reboot the weather one day. Okay. Um, TG I'll Techie, get back to it. TG Techie is working on um, some cool menuing, which of course has something to do with what you can expect, which is a real tricorder. Yay! Running Python. Yeah, and this is a neat project because you can actually make a real tricorder. This uses Pi Portal. Um, it has a menuing system, touch screen, and it also has a camera that you can do really neat like infrared camera stuff. So that's yeah. calculator. And then uh, if there's time maybe later in the show. So. Yeah. If maybe we'll time, show off the If there's time later in the show, uh, maybe we'll show the camera live. But there's a little quick video of this here where you can see. And there it is. So this is all real. All nice. Blitz City DIY did the work in progress IR controlled rover bot. Here is Red. This is a Circuit Python powered little cute bot. Oh, hello, yeah. little robot. Oh, it's and, oh, it's got little arms. Yeah, Cricket and Circuit Python. Is it like circuit boards or something? Yeah, and I thought this was kind of neat. This is um, a student project, and it's a stuffed dog named Tanya. A Adafruit Cricket, Circuit Playground Express, conductive pads, recycled computer speakers, and the servo wags the tail, and it's only about 50 lines of Circuit Python, and it was made by 8th grade students. Whoa, robotic yeah. dogs. Um, Shout out to Bruce Sterling for using our Circuit Python logo as his avatar. He on knows Twitter. where it's at. Thank you so much. You know, he predicts the future, so I'm thinking he knows something, and he knows that people are going to be using Circuit Python. So thank you. Bruce Sterling's a friend of ours. I have no idea why he did this. I love it. It's awesome. It's a cool logo. That's yeah, why. That, I think so too. Okay, um, this is another neat thing. This is um, 
Picasso. This is a stu- graphic design student well, who's also a big fan wait, of you, Python. Someone's going, there's going to be a Circuit Python magazine one day, and now this is what it probably Dude, this is awesome. Circuit yeah. Python quarterly. So Timothy Garcia did this. He presented it to his design class, and it's Circuit Python quarterly. What's in this issue? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's Hello Halloween, and uh, it's all about the Halloween and Circuit Playground Express, and also, uh, or sorry, uh, Circuit. Uh, Circuit Python, Circuit Playground Express, and all the things you expect in. Wow, a look at that nice diagramming. Yeah, it's look at this. Purple. This is great. That's oh, nice. When you get this magazine, I want. I want. I want this magazine. All right. Uh, next up. So we've been doing a partnership with um, Python Discord, and Winita over there uh, got a Circuit Python, uh, Circuit Playground Express, and right away made this cool Mario controller to control the game. Oh, that's too funny. Is it play Mario Kart? Okay. 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 Throw the red shell. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, so it's like a little mouse. And then I guess with the button you can hop. It's a good idea. Okay. Um, this is for the um, Crunchbox. It's a STEM OLED display panel, um, hmm. which is really neat. It has uh, vinyl labels, and you can control all these things, and mm, you can like see the inside of it. Thing going yeah. On. yeah cool. um, this is kind of cool. This is what you'd expect from Caitlin's dad, a very clever project. And this is a walk, don't walk sign, and this uses Circuit Playground Express and uh, Circuit Python. Okay, this is from Southern Dragon. It's a GPS logger. It records GPS coordinates and uh, other geographic info to a CSV file on an SD card and it shows basic information on the OLED Featherwing. It's smart enough to only save new coordinates if the device changes positions, Adafruit, mm. uh, and particle hardware coded in Circuit Python. Ooh, nice. Now, you might be wondering, what is this person doing with these little tiny people? Yeah, what is this, like a little microsurgery He's a little there. tiny, he's repairing he little tiny nanobots, little androids or something. What are, what are these? What are these? What are these? They're little, little creatures, <laughs> little people. It seems. Are we going to find out? Yeah, we're going to find out. I thought, yeah, they're just going to end the show. So bye, wow. see you next week. Uh, and so this is uh, programming the little people. So I totally know this. Th- that like hand twist thing yeah. where you like <laughs> press the pads up against the the connector that you have. This is yeah. I, I have known this. All right, so this There's is the a mouse in the middle, yeah. and you, you, you go up arrow to keep programming. This is a bunch of Circuit Python running media figures by Benjamin. Aren't they so cute? And uh, this is this is one of our first. Uh, board that supported circuit python yes and it's a samd 51 now so it's a quite a powerful processor yep little mini sam and you in the micro sd is in the head you can just plug the head right into your that's right into a uh, connector socket and then um i've covered this one before but then nicholas did an amazing blog post about this which you should watch um this is made with moo it's stress management masked by um is a group of students who made this. It's a prototype mass to manage stress using Python and Circuit Playground Express codes on GitHub. It's made how to demonstrate how Circuit Playground Express could be used to measure body temperature, indicate stress levels. Um, the theory is that the body temperature is an indicator of stressful feelings, and that people with better control of their stress may have a visual indication of their stress state. So look at that, like cool the project. guy relaxing. Yep. Um, we cover all sorts of things in the Python on Hardware newsletter, including if you just like amazing um, graphics. Made with math Ooh, and Python. Is it like NumPy math? Or? Yeah, it's a tour of uh, Math Wonderland in Python. It's called uh, Pi Wonderland. That's cool. Then uh, slides are posted for a really great um, Python micro Python talk um, from Jessica Green at Python Pizza Conference in Berlin called Python on Bare Metal. Get it? There's the bear. Oh, yeah. Bare metal. Yeah. There's the bare metal. Um, there's some events coming up very soon. And you should go to them if you're in the area and you like Python on hardware. The first one is March 11th in London, UK. Meet and learn and share ideas about MicroPython. Nicholas, I mean Moo, will be uh, telling everybody about the latest versions of Moo, uh, the free code editor for Python, MicroPython, and CircuitPython devices. Coming up February 27th, that's like now, um, or it's, it just passed, is uh, the Anita Borg, uh, Hopper Local, and this was Vicky talking about uh, Python on hardware. Um, special thanks, everyone who put a star on 1,000 plus stars. We're still looking for help on translating the messages that CircuitPython has to other languages. We thank everyone in our Discord. We're over 10,000. I'll 
have to update the graphics soon because we're crawling up there. We put all of this in our awesome Weekly. list, github.com yep. slash Adafruit slash awesome circuit Python. That's a nice cheat sheet in Python it. Has yeah, a cheat yeah. sheet. Um, we hit 300 people on circuit Python Discord. We just started this. We had 5,000 people on the newsletter. It's our fastest growing newsletter. And this is all part of Adafruit Daily, which we have that goes out every week. It's on our blog. Um, this is the, the center of the, what's happening in the world of Python on hardware. And thank you, everybody, who's contributing to this. Um, it is a lot of fun every single day to see what's going on in There's Discord. There's so much Python. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to try looking at the thing again? Um, yeah, let's uh, let's look we'll at the weather, so and then we'll end this Python weather. Segment. Python it's weather. It's 13 degrees up. It's clear yep. sky, and it's 8.30. We're half through the show. Okay. All right. And Carefully that put it down. is... Python on hardware. Yay! Okay. Python, um, Python, Python, Python.